who doesn't know the famous international forum of Rashid Karame? This masterpiece was built in 1968 by the famous architect Oscar Neymar in Tripoli, Lebanon, to be a trade fair highlighted with unique architecture. Due to its importance, it is now classified in the World Heritage List by UNESCO. In this short movie, we are going to present our analysis of the design elements used in the making of the famous international forum of Rashid Karame. This will be presented by Judy Shahade, Yara Shahade, Sara Abdel Adir, Amina Qasim, and Omar Al Mustafa. Here we will use this photo to trace our paths in analyzing the forum. Starting with our entrance, our eyes will immediately drop to the lines turning into a plan. Now, if we go to our first monument through the first path, as we can see, nature takes an important part in the aesthetic of this landmark. Reaching the end appears this ambitious building, which is composed of four clear points that can be connected to form lines, therefore a rectangular plane, thus a rectangle. It's composed of repetitive arcs subtracted from all the facades. In talking about its interior, vertical metal columns come into view for stability, and an ascending slope for the performances used to be made. And about the construction, concrete was the main material used, thus the dominant color is the pale grey. The Lebanese pavilion was a rectangular space meant for exhibitions. The rectangular form symbolizes solidity and stability. This is why Neymar shaped Lebanon's pavilion as a rectangular one, due to its architectural history characterized by solid bases and pointed arches. In this expanse, a vault in the roof is visible that allows the penetration of natural light. The main concept behind the Rashid Krami Fair was to create a center of attraction for cultural and artistic events where people from all social classes can equally be in and visit and interact together after the civil war. It is also impressive to know that the fair is now considered to be one of the five largest exhibition centers in the world when it is still unfinished. Now, stepping a bit further, we can see this huge, magnificent arc that is without a doubt the biggest eye catcher in the fair. When we walk a bit closer, we can notice how large it is in comparison to the human scale. This arc is considered like an entrance for a theater that is composed of a large number of white seats that extend to form lines. We can also see the formation of a few planes in front of us that lead to the theater. The theater is also an arc, but larger in size and less in height. This place used to host many shows, including magic ones, and the structure of the stage was designed to be a sound amplifier. But now, let's rewind a bit, because there's something we forgot to mention. Next to the theater, we can also see a big structure that takes on the form of a cylinder with lines as pattern and on top we finally notice a circular disc. This was designed as a restaurant with a panoramic view at its top level. Turning right we find a cone shaped structure with straight lines that eventually lead us to a top point of this monument. The cone structure was to be a child pavilion. The shape was inspired by the tombs built by the Egyptians for their kings, pyramid since they symbolize magic and ascending. It was intended as a space for children to enjoy and explore. Walking ahead, we find the stone wall behind of which lies the famous concrete dome. The entrance of our dome forms a rectangular shape and inside it is composed of circular elements that divide the different uses that were dedicated for this area. The dome also known and the experimental theater was designed for musical events and the stage was to be a hydraulic structure that moves up and down. While exploring the dome, we discover something which is very interesting, the echo. So, this is just a step. 
This monument is composed of a large circular disc supported by a sand that forms the shape of four triangles. Inside of this disc, we can find a circular hole and the stairs to help people go up and be amazed by the top view of the Rashid Karam Fair. In front of this monument, we can also see a void in the ground that forms a rectangular shape. As we've seen all the present structures, we can notice how Oscar Neymar, the master of curves, chose to act with freedom of form in designing this fair. As for him, form doesn't follow function, but instead follows beauty. Finally, here are some shots taken by us in this amazing fair.